Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Chrono Crusade. The one thing I constantly heard about this anime series is that the ending is sad, but I never actually heard if the anime is actually good. I decided to watch the entire anime, and hope it will be entertaining to watch. In this anime series, the main characters Rosette and Chrono work together on the church and take part in missions to eliminate various demons that cause havoc. Chrono is a demon but has decided to fight against more violent demons that seek to cause harm to humans. He seems to have a dark past, especially when it involves a demon named Ion. Chrono can only unlock his true powers at the expense of Rosette's lifespan. Every time he transforms and uses his true power, Rosette gets closer to dying. Rosette seems to have a sad past as well, as he searches for her brother Joshua throughout the anime. Despite the comedic and lighthearted atmosphere at times, this anime certainly was dark and depressing. They make it very obvious early on that Rosette doesn't have much time to live. It was very sad and emotional to watch Rosette as she knows she'll be dying soon. Throughout the anime, you get to learn about how Chrono and Rosette first met, and you get to see how their bond got stronger and stronger as the show went on. You just want both of them to live a happy life together, but you know it's probably not going to happen. The ending really got to me. When Rosette seemed content with her time running out, I didn't feel that sad. But then her true feelings came out, and you learn how she really feels about dying, and it was just one of the saddest moments in the anime. That ending is as sad as everyone said it was. It's already sad enough with Rosette slowly dying, but then throughout the anime, you learn the truth behind Joshua's disappearance, and that was a very depressing flashback. What happened to Joshua was very depressing to see. Then you have a sad and emotional ending involving Satella and her sister, which was another depressing scene to see. After all the time being upset that her sister is dead, Satella finds out what really happened to her sister, and it was heartbreaking to see. So this anime is certainly doing its part by making you feel emotional and feel bad for the characters. The plot for this anime series was alright, the mysteries were intriguing. I really wanted to know what happened to Joshua, and what exactly happened between Chrono and the powerful demon named Ion. It was enjoyable slowly getting the answers to mysteries. It makes sense why Chrono is so uneasy, and why he really wants to help the humans. He feels like part of it is his fault. I'm not a big fan of the villain's ambition, however. Ion hated God and want to reshape this world in the way he thinks it should be. It's like we've seen this many times before in anime series. A character that hates God, and wants to basically change the world to how they think the world should be, is just a really boring motivation. I had multiple issues with the fight scenes. The powers and the weapons used were just typical guns, swords, energy blasts, and elemental blasts. There wasn't much creativity to it. The villains in this anime series lose their fights in unsatisfying ways especially main villain Ion. It's like, what? He's gonna lose a fight in that way? I was expecting the fight scenes to end on an amazing note, but the fight scenes ended in anticlimactic ways. I was okay with the characters for the most part. It's like, I know Rosette is dying, and I feel bad for her, but hearing her yell and be annoying early on the show was hard to watch. She has the personality of a loud, obnoxious person that you don't want to be around. Chrono was a quiet, nice guy that really cared for Rosette, it's great that he cares a lot about Rosette, but he kind of bored me as a character. Satella was entertaining to watch though. She showed a lot of personality and was fighting through teeth Rosette at times. I thought Ion made for a good villain. He was very calm yet very cold at the same time towards humans and Chrono. He had great charisma as a villain. You can understand why so many people follow him. I just wish I had better motivation for his actions other than he hates God and the world God created. The opening song for his semi series was catchy nice to hear. The ending song was good as well. The music throughout the anime did a good job at showing how dark and depressing certain scenes were. The animation style looked good for its time. The animation looked alright in the fight scenes. I do recommend to watch the anime series. It was certainly make you feel sad and emotional at times. I just wish the fight scenes were handled better. I give this anime series a 7 out of 10. So that's all I'm talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day night wherever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.